So what is tendinopathy? So a simple view of a tendon is that a tendon connects a muscle to a bone to allow a joint to move. Now it wasn't long ago that we used tendinitis and tendinosis, which simply meant active inflammation of the tendon or a degenerative state of the tendon. Today, we know that models really to be incorrect, so we now use tendinopathy as we know the health of a tendon is along a spectrum. Now, the basic function of a tendon is to absorb and release energy to act as a spring or to remain stiff. This is what gives us the ability to run, jump, throw, etc. As a tendon gets stronger, it becomes stiffer, not gets thicker. So it's important to note that because it's the opposite of what happens to, say, a muscle. Now, when somebody is in a relatively unloaded state or they're sedentary, the muscle or the tendon actually thins out. And when it thins out, it becomes into a state known as stress shielding. When it's stress shielded, only the superficial part of that tendon continues to really work like it's supposed to, where the deeper components or the deeper part of that tendon don't really contribute much. Now, similarly, or on the contrary, if a tendon is normal and healthy and it's overloaded, both this overloaded and this stress-shielded tendon can become reactive. And this simply just states that they're going to be irritated. Okay, and this is generally when people start to have pain. And there's different levels of this reactivity that we can have. Now, in this level of reactivity, the tendon at this point does actually thicken in order to try and compensate or overcome the tensile strength or stress that has been placed upon it. Now, we know that a thicker tendon is not beneficial and it's not a stronger tendon but it will continue to thicken to try and overcome the stress. If it continues to thicken at this point, it will go into a stage known as tendon disrepair. And at this point in tendon disrepair, the fibers along the tendon become disorganized. So normally they are in more of this parallel orientation that allow it to slide and glide in order to transmit load corrected, uh, correctly and effectively. However, in this stage, it becomes disorganized, which does not allow for the absorption of this load or the change of this energy. Now, in either of these stages, we know whether unloaded or overloaded, we can simply go back to that normal healthy state of attendant. Now, whether it means we need to add exercise and add load, or we need to decrease the intensity or the frequency and decrease the overall load of that tendon to get it to calm down. 